কাজিংপ এ জং কি সনগুট কি এম এল এ পরশা আই কি নোয়েলাম জং কা এম পি সি সি কন্দং স্খেম শুসু হাকাবা নাকালিয়ং কা নোয়েলাম জং কি সনগুট কি এম এল এ জং কা কংগ্রেস কা কং আম্পারেন লিংডো কলা ওং বাকি সনগুট কি এম এল এ কিলা শিম মেক রায় বাকন ভা বাকিন লং বেদ কুম কি এম এল এ মারে বাকিন ওম ত্রে শু বন ফতেন শখমাত বন শিম বন তা হা কে ড্রামা বন জুপা বেক এ আই সি সি লা বন কো হংনে বন কলিয়ং কে আই সি সি কলা শিম এ কাই বন সসপন বট ফা এ কা শুকস নোটিস এ কি সনগুট কি এম এল এ কা কংগ্রেস কি বলা কৃষ্ণ এ সরকার এম ডি এ হাবাই কিরণ বাকি লাট পথাই খবর না কলিয়ং কং আম পারিন লিংড কলাই থু বা কমদন কানু কানু কাজিং বে হাবাই দে বা কাই বন কৃষ্ণ এ কা সরকার এম ডি এ নামার বা বোন না কি কাম কি জাম কি বা সাকুন কিলাই সাই সাই মন্তা হা কনস্টিটুয়েন্সি কলাই থু রু বা হাডু মন্তা কমদন কানু কানু কাজিং বানিয়ক্রণ না কলিয়ং কি নোয়েলাম কা কংগ্রেস হাকাবা কিমলা আসু বন সাবজার হাডু বন্দে ই বাকনদন কানু কানু কাজিং সেমখ্যা না কলিয়ং কা পার্টি বানিয়ক্রণ হালোর কানে গা বন্ত কলা বন্দ্রাব সুসু কে এই বাকি ওং হা কি লাট পথাই খবর বাকিন খত বিয়ং কাদে গবা বাকলা কানু কানু কা পার্টি কয়াই কটকুম কা কনস্টিটুশন কা জংকা হাবা কিল্লি হালোর কাজিং কো এ কাজিং কোয়া মন্তই সিমত কি সনগুট কি এম এল এ কা কং আম্পারিন কাল ওং বা হো ওই কাদে কাজিং পরখাত জিং মন্তই মারে না কবন তা কা ভা কা মেয়াদ জং কা কনস্টিটুয়েন্সি হি বর you know like a young student going to the classroom for the first time because i was busy looking for my seat with a lot of enthusiasm so that that again happened again despite the fact that i have gone through four elections this way uh, the second thing is i have no regrets because keeping in mind the last one and a half month of us deciding to join the mda a lot of our things are being attended to right now many of my projects that were derailed or left are now being again positioned positively in the interest of the constituency and uh, my role here would be to engage with the mda for all the positive things that we have done earlier on we had a baggage a political baggage that was disrupting our ability to see some of the good things that have happened i'm very happy with the progress of the border talks mm. i'm very happy with the fact that the hnlc outfit will now be called to a common table for peace talks i'm very happy that there is this uh, uh, new vigor in 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 financial uh, concentration on several areas especially after reading the governor's address today uh, we look forward to all of that because the state seems to be aware and has taken cognizance of the fact that covid has displaced livelihoods in the state of meghalaya so we will be engaging a little more interactively from the opposition what tends to happen is that you are talking from another fence with the main intent of just bashing the government very often we engaged in that kind of an approach which i thought was not getting anywhere now that this opportunity has been given to me i will take it positively and i have already benefited in so many ways in my constituency particularly by the md government we are not engaging with them they may interpret this distancing that we are now at as per their wishes because anyways it looks like they are not interested in even engaging with us individually or as a group they're speaking through the media they're speaking through individuals it's in complete disarray we will be silent till uh, this year we are silent we will remain silent until we see that there is a concerted group effort party effort put in because till now there has been no godfathers or godmothers from any distant location of the headquarters coming to us we are completely left and often it's like a mother sending five kids out of the gate and saying get out now that that is something which is very bitter for us to experience uh, there seems to be no foster parenting so we are in we are now we are now in a position where we need to look for a foster parent and if that force the parent does take care of us then so be it let leaders of any political party say anything when my people elected me as a as their representative let us get this very clear any leader will be ambitious of a good position it is ridiculous for people from the outside 
to throw eggs at us and rotten potatoes at us when they themselves know that if they were in a as lucrative a position as we are, we would all try to engage. So it is wrong for any party to say that it is sinister or anything. It doesn't matter. Let them interpret it the way we they feel. The five of us are in a good position. We are in a position of 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 of, of authority. We are in a position of attention. We are in a position where officers are now looking at us and viewing our requests from a very different perspective. Now this will only be gain, gain, gain for the constituency and for the state. Doesn't matter which leader has what interpretation of this. We leave it to the wisdom. We are not engaging now. We are free of political affiliation. Five MLAs now remain suspended and therefore may be looked at as an individual group of five. Likely we are now independent MLAs of five, not to further engage, especially through mediums of the media. It is very disappointing for us to observe that person in position simply offers a, 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 a white cloth a peace, peace laurel through the media. I, I don't understand where these decisions are being taken, how these decisions are taken in a press forum. So we are surprised that these decisions are taken individually by one individual. I don't even know how much of a consultation actually took place. I mean, are the rest of the uh, individuals uh, in the Congress in agreement with calling us back? So this is all very confusing. It appears like one person is taking decisions again. And so therefore, we will not further engage in this matter. We leave it to the wisdom of individuals in the party that has suspended us. We do not want to backlash. We do not want to display any uh, disgust on the public domain. But. It's very unfortunate that most of the decisions we are seeing are now happening in press conferences, happening in small group discussions with somebody, but nothing is ever, ever seemed to have been taken in a, in a forum of the party. Of course, I will personally gain for my constituency. Did anybody help us when I was not being personally gained? What is wrong with everyone? I became an MLA by the blessings of my people. My people have a dream for me. Is it wrong for me to follow that dream? Of course. Why should we even deny? But we were offered positions. But you saw that I refused any position. To prove it to the people firstly, that not everything is about a particular position. I would like to have a free hand of positions. I would like to help the MDA government project the good things it has done. Is there any harm in doing that? This would have been a good road for the Congress to go forward in 23, but they've rejected it. Now there's very little I can do about it. That is a decision taken by them. So you issue as many letters as you want to. This is a system. We function within the ambit of law as per the constitution of this great nation called India. So. We are not doing anything which is illegal. And if there is anyone in any other party that says, oh no, I'm joining because I love this government and I don't want any personal gain, you're wrong. You're lying to yourselves firstly. And I'm not lying. I'm in a better position and I'm going to take advantage every moment that I can for every little thing that I deserve. How does it really matter what they do next? The ball is in their court. Follow the constitution of your party and figure out procedures and processes. You do what you like. We are beyond your control. We have decided the five of us to go to a better place in the interest of the party. But if they saw otherwise, then we were in a place where we could not accept what they saw. We were in a place where we are five MLAs in an assembly. This is not parliament. And there is no NDA tag here. I think you've seen that. Reactions of political parties when we joined the MDA government. What did they say? We were not consulted. 
So which means that this government, if given an authority and has the correct numbers to take it forward, can take better decisions in the future. We are not going to engage any further on this drama. Somebody has booted us out of the party. Now when you suspend a party man or woman, means you're showing them the door and you're saying bye-bye. What you decide in a press conference there and then to say, oh, we will call them back, oh, we will do this, is wrong. Every party is guided by its own constitution. So please, we are as literate and aware of that same constitution which we were members of for so long of our lives. Do not underestimate our understanding and our capacities to think. And if one party, one person is doing whatever he wants to do in one party, that's also not our problem. Because suddenly we've become five free independent MLAs to do what we think is right for the people of our constituencies and the state in general.